celebrate the spirit of humanity and the dawn of a new American era. In a season when many commemorate the birth of Christ, we commemorate our own genesis, the enlightenment of all humanity, a revelation of our nature as written in the annals of history, a gift from Lucifer, the light bringer, the morning star, and the rebel. We are Satanists. We engender moral, spiritual, and sexual freedom, personal independence, and insist upon personal choice in all things. We care for the significance of the individual spirits and personal moral responsibility. If you stand here today and embrace your nature, or free-thinking, self-governed, and godless, you too are a Satanist in the eyes of many in your own community, including those who represent you and your government. We are also Americans, a nation born of men and women seeking asylum from a majority religious group in control of political power who punish those who oppose them. In the words of Thomas Jefferson, our civil rights have no dependence on our religious opinions any more than the opinions in physics or geometry. On these very steps, two weeks ago, hundreds of Christians gathered to demand exclusion of our fellow countrymen from the right to join in marriage under the guise of religious freedom. They slandered the name of this great country for embracing the diversity of its citizens. They cheered and praised when called upon to radicalize. For too many, religion has become an excuse to exclude, to hate, and to destroy. It is time for us to merge our differences and realize that we have a common problem. It matters not if you are a Baptist or a Methodist, a Muslim, or if you are faithless. You see, we are not anti-Christian and we are not anti-religion, but we are anti-degradation and we are anti-oppression. For too long, the satanic characterization has been evoked by the righteous to control the outsider. For too long, we have submitted on knees in servitude to the ministers of shame. Shall we surrender to the siren song of the religious rights until she transforms us into beasts? No. Satanism is a philosophy of action. And those who desire and act not breed pestilence. We do not seek followers. We are seeking collaborators. Individuals for a visionary satanic alliance. Leaders of the new American era. But we have to do more than, than just lead to ensure a free America. We have to do more when the belief in archaic illusions of an ancient religion is a mandatory requirement for our, our elected representatives. We have to do more when our government determines our sexuality for us. We have to do more when children are denied the home of loving parents because the genders of their partner. We have to do more when women are denied access to reproductive health care and vilified as murderers by those who elected to represent them in the government. The word of God has been evoked time and time again to justify the opposition to civil rights movements, to squash women's liberation, to target medical treatment for HIV, and end same-sex marriage. That is not religious freedom. The inclusion of all is not oppression. And the voices of the minority are not valueless. That is not our America. And it is time to awaken. These so-called godly institutions call themselves victims and call for radicalization. This is a snake upon our hooves. America is not an instrument of any one religious group. Do you want to be part of a sleeping world? No! Do you want to gorge on the drug of the commonplace? No! Will you forever remain addicted to the oppressive traditions of a counterfeit morality? No! But we must tell those people who represent us. As we stand on the crossroads of history, let us confront the blind and self-righteous, the persecutors of thought and reason. Let us rise up in celebration of our satanic nature and cast our chains into the dust of hell. Those who boldly
we propose that organizations of faith hold a leading role in guiding American policy and justice, I solemnly and with great sincerity thank Satanic America has heard your call to action. If religion is to lead in areas which have traditionally been left to a secular democracy, we will do our duty too to bring the insights of our satanic practice to the state house, to the courthouse, to schools, and of course, homes and businesses of America. Wherever and whenever diverse religious guidance is needed. All hail the new American era. An America that embraces our fellow neighbors with the integrity of their character rather than the God to whom they pray. An America where we stand to defend justice and honor for our brothers and sisters regardless of whom they call husband or wife and regardless of their personal bodily choices. Comrades, we are just as powerful as those who work in this institution here. Those who wish to uphold the traditions of old feel us breathing down their necks. And we will continue to be the voice of reason to ensure that our America remains free and equal. All hail the eternal rebel within all of us. To liberty, humanity, and justice. To the satanic emancipator and end of repressive traditions. Hail Satan!